At the height of World War II, Melvin Dwork was sitting in a naval officer's training class when two military policemen walked in. They whispered something to the commanding officer, or the instructor, who was a Navy officer. And I don't think I sh should tell you what he said. The Navy had found out he was gay and discharged him with a word that still stings 67 years later. The undesirable discharge denied Dwork benefits, and he fought it for decades. Now that the military is ending its ban on openly gay service, the 89-year-old interior designer got another letter from the Navy, this time an honorable discharge, a personal victory for Dwork and a sign of optimism for others who suffered. There is hope for them, but they have to pursue it. Voluntarily, the, the Navy is not going to do anything, nor the Army or the Air Force. No, I mean, they have other things to deal with, like the wars we're in. Stephen Peters was discharged from the Marines in 2007 after outing himself, tired of the lies. I would have to do things as silly as uh, have a picture of a girl of, um, from back home or a friend or something just to pretend like it was my girlfriend back home. His partner is still a Marine, so Peters still has to lie. We have to pretend like our family doesn't even exist um, outside, outside of the house. Even with the military set to allow openly gay troops, they and their partners will not get the same benefits as married couples. Whether or not it's health insurance or even access to um, the commissary or the exchange, um, any situation like that, I don't have the support of the military that uh, other, other military families have. Still, Peter says the end of Don't Ask, Don't Tell is exciting and worth the wait. Sagar Magani, Associated Press, Washington.